Have you had the experience that your keyboard is always on the way? Have you ever had the experience that your papers never get extended so you cannot properly work on your assignments? Don't worry about it. Team 40 have your back. I'm Yue Xinguo from Team 40. We're Magnum XL, stand for Magnum Extra Large Table Space. There are four parts you're going to find what I'm going to talk about during this presentation, our planning process, our custom lays, the product specification, and our economic analysis. Right now, let's jump straight into planning session. As, we mentioned, as I mentioned above, uh, the, our group is delegated to help Virginia Tech students who have a small table space, who don't have enough space to work on their project. We're trying to make something that, is, that can increase the workable desk space um, so that they can that can extend it out when needed and also stood when not used. This is not only going to help the Virginia Tech students, but it also can help other office workers and other college dorm dwellers. After we realize what kind of thing we want to make, we start to working on this Gantt chart. This Gantt chart visually help us to realize what kind of states we are right now and what is our next, next task and what's the next due date. As you may find out, this is actually a 13 weeks long project. Right now we're in the middle of week five and what we are currently working on is intellectual property lecture search. And I want you to introduce you to our lovely friends, Bernard Boggins. Bernard Boggins is an average Virginia Tech student, but there are two main things you need to know about him. The first one is that he's a master at multitasking. He can play video games on his PC while watching soap dramas on his laptop and then reading emails on his phone, all three at the same time. Quite amazing, I know, and that's not about it. He also just spent 3,000 bucks on buying some brand new graphic cards because he likes to keep his technology up to date. But instead of just buying an extra table, which is quite dumb. As for right now, he have to work, eat, and uh, play video games all on the same table, and we absolutely don't want that. And sometimes he even discussed by his own mass, he have to bring his stuff to the library to work out, but somehow the library table is also too small for him. So, which is exactly one of the use of our opportunity. It's going to be stewable and portable. We're trying to make a product that can extend it out when we need it, and also can be stored when we are not using it. You can shove it under your bed or wherever you want. And you can also bring it to a variety of new places. For example, if you go out camping and if you go to library to work on your new project, it can be, it can be adjustable. And that's what we are trying to make. And uh, enough of our imaginary friends and in our imaginary uses. Let's focus on the real world problem. We asked some customers from the real world. Basically what we have done is we put up a survey and asking a bunch of people and we get a bunch of results. I'm talking about a bunch of results and not all of them are good for us to use. For example, this one right here, the bigger desk, we cannot really interpret anything from it. So after filtering out the good results, we put it nicely into this one table over here. And we set them as we interpret their needs and we set the primary secondary for them. As you may find out, all the primaries are, all the primary needs are involved with extra space. For example, this one gets stuff out of the way, which equals to having more space on the table, getting an extra table space, giving more vertical space. As for the secondary one, it's all some sort of functionality that may not um, connect to having a more workspace on the desk. After that, we start to pull up another survey asking people how much, do, how, how important do they think our interpreted needs are and how excited do they think about our new ideas are. And we also summarize it up in one table over here. As you may find out, there are decimal places over here. That's because we take the average value of their weights. From this table, we can clearly see just having an extra table space is going to be the most important we need to work on because that's a lot of the customer's needs but it's not one of the most exciting parts. The most exciting and unique ideas are more modularity and more vertical space involves. So after we realize what our customer wants, we start to work on what kind of product specifications we want. So there are two things we find that can be our competitors, can be our competitors, 
online, which one of them is uh, under the pencil drawer and the other one is a uh, flapping desk thing. And there are two problems with it. The first one is that they are way too expensive and the second one is that they are not portable. And as we realize, a lot of Virginia Tech students live in an apartment that is not allowed to drill any holes on the wall or on the property like table. So we decided to make something that can easily detached and also attached also can carry it away whenever you want and also in a price range between 20 to 20 bucks so that we can make sure every Virginia Tech students can buy it is able to afford it because I mean come on 10 to 20 bucks everybody's going to be afforded and we start to coming up with this graph Q of D over here if you cannot read this we put it from the left to right over here the total mass suspended dimensions steward dimension maximum capacity and stuff one thing you need to know is that it just uh, the impact area of the desk. This measures the area of um, the area of the support that connected to the table. For example, if you want to have a, for example, if you want to have a monitor stand, what are the area taken on the table to make sure we can lift our monitor up? And from this chart, we can clearly see the height is going to be one the most important specifications. And that totally makes sense because every single customer needs, needs some degree of the height. But on the contrary, it's the least, it should be the least one on, on our prioritization list because, uh, because height is just one dimensional measurements. We can stretch it out to make it longer or we can just build it taller. It's very easy to use. The most difficult one to do is the impact support area. The, the impact area is very hard to do is because we need to do a lot of calculations and testing to make sure we can minimize the, the use of area well it can support the maximum load. And there are, you can see all the values here and you can you know you can just find out in our PowerPoint if you want. And our next slide is going to talk about economic analyze. That's going to be our final part. As I mentioned earlier, our price range is going to be between 10 to 20 bucks. So we take the average of 15 bucks and trying to evaluate, start from when we'll start making profit. From the calculation, if we can sell 2,000 and one of our product, we can start to make in profit. And you may sound, it may sound a lot, but it's actually not. Because according to a research, there are around 30,000 students in rose classes in 2015. That means there definitely is way more students in rose during uh, about these years. And that means we can have way more customers than, than this right now. So it's definitely doable and we can definitely make profit out of it. And that's it about our presentations. Um, this presentation is mainly just a progress report, a, a presentation of progress report uh, of how far we have done. And uh, as for what we're going to do next, we're going to work on DP2 and also international search. And that's about it. Thank you.